Early in the afternoon of August 16, 1977, Presley was found unconscious on the floor of his bathroom. Elvis Presley died today as the result of an erratic heartbeat or heart attack brought on by undetermined causes. National Guard units were called in during the day to help police control the ever-growing crowds flocking to pay their last respects to the king of rock and roll. The king was buried on August 18, 1977. A procession of white Cadillacs took his body from Graceland to the cemetery. 80,000 people lined the route. In the years that followed, the mourners and fans kept coming. In 1982, Graceland reopened as a museum. But the legacy of Elvis Presley stretches far beyond Memphis. You were always on my mind. He is there at the start, and without what he did, you could argue that there wouldn't have been a Beatles or there wouldn't have been a Rolling Stones. John Lennon said, nothing really affected me until Elvis. So that's about as direct as, as you could possibly get. You listen to Led Zeppelin, songs like rock and roll. It's just pure Elvis. So it's exactly what they were doing. They just had big amplifiers. Mick Jagger became this kind of highly sexualized figure. Elvis Presley had set the template for that. You can basically look at any kind of preening rock star and you think, well, all they wanted to be was Elvis. I think Elvis not only changed music, but he also changed culture. I mean, he came along at a time when teenagers were a thing suddenly and there was this new youth voice and Elvis was that voice. He gave teenagers an idea that there could be something different. They didn't have to do what their parents said. That obviously terrified the older generation but it also gave this new younger generation a voice. He was the big bang. He was the sun around which all the other planets have circled ever since. And when he went down, we lost the first and the best. He also was one of the first rock superstars as we know them now. That idea of an icon, he's Elvis. And that's all you need to say. That name, that face is so universally recognized. Some have criticized a white man finding success with black music. But others insist he paved the way for rock and roll stars of all races. Either way, it is impossible to imagine the history of rock without the shy young man from Tennessee. Elvis Presley changed music, and he changed America. He didn't invent rock and roll, but he did help rock and roll become mainstream. He helped it cross over to that bigger audience. That had a lot to do with the color bar at the time. He was hugely important in fusing black and white music. That's probably the most significant thing that he did. So the history of rock and roll, you can't even understand it unless you're going to include Elvis Presley. He's just too important. The last sad years of Elvis Presley's life have been followed by decades of imitation and parody. But nothing can obliterate what came before. To listen to those early records again is to erase the bloat and blunders of the 1970s and resurrect a genius. The king is dead. Long live the king.